Say you want to automatically harvest mushrooms. You need to give them some time to grow. So you need a machine that waits a while, turns on for a bit, and then turns off over and over again. Of course, this timer works with anything. I'm just using mushrooms as an example. One way of doing this is with a minecart loop connected to a T flip-flop. I know that sounds like a foreign language, but just stick around and I'll learn you a thing or two. Watch my Redstone for Dummies video first if you have to. I've just started out with a big ol' loop of rails. I've built it large enough that it takes exactly one minute for the minecart to make a full loop, which requires exactly 256 railroad tracks. To build the loop, we just put eight normal rails in between each booster and then go through and add another booster whenever it comes to a stop. There's no math necessary. So let's say we want our machine to be in the on position for 10 seconds and in the off position for 50 seconds, which is useful for giving our fungi time to grow. We pick an arbitrary start position on the track. I'm going to go ahead and label it with a red block. When the minecart passes the red block, we start counting seconds. It doesn't need to be exact, and you can change the delay to whatever you want it to be. After 10 seconds, we note the position of the minecart. I'm going to label it with a blue block. We'll put a detector rail on each color, just like this, and we'll be eventually attaching these to a T flip-flop. If you don't know what that means, don't worry, I'll show you. It's not hard at all. Let's just get our redstone lines in roughly the same area before we build it. There we go. First, let's cut to a high-tech illustration. A T flip-flop is basically a fancy lever that you can press from anywhere. Today, we'll be pressing it with our detector rails. Our red detector turns it on, and our blue detector turns it off. So let's build one. Remember, just copy this block for block, and you can think of this as a fancy lever. I learned how to do this from Zangusu, I think that's how you pronounce it, Zangusu's video, because his was the easiest to follow. You can see every block necessary from this angle. The underside of that yellow wool is empty. We connect our two redstone lines, and this is where we connect it to. And the power comes out right here. Now, our cart just passed the blue block, 50 seconds. Red, 10 seconds. Connect this to something like a mushroom farm, and you've got yourself free mushroom soup for life. That's it for today. Man, when you first saw that funny red dust deep in the earth, I bet you never thought you'd be able to build automatic farms. Think of how far you've come.